Hey guys, so we're in a 2000, so two. Yes. I should know that. 2002 M5, we've got Canon here. Eight. And uh, it is 8.40 p.m. I'm missing a Cavalier game for this, so it's got to be good. Hey, you're Daytron. Today's the 11th, not right. the 10th. Just, here, here's <laughs> a, you focus on driving. I'll do that. And um, Alex Rory today is actually driving, a, I believe it's a Tesla P90D between Manhattan and Detroit. Um, something with uh, autonomous, you're setting an autonomous driving record, right? In a P90D. That's, that's the attempt. Well, that's the attempt. Under range. Yeah, we'll get it. I don't, think nobody, I don't think anybody's ever done it. Perhaps range. So, far. so, you know, I've actually departed the game and we're headed up here to the Tesla supercharger station in Macedonia to just see if a navy blue Tesla with presumably New York plates on it. I've got the plate number. <laughs> do you actually? Yes, I do. Creeper, you looked it up. Well, well, he posted it on Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad then. So we're going to pull in here. According to our calculations, he should be there at 851. It is, ironically, 839. And uh, we're going to be there in about 10 minutes. So I'll let you know if we see him. There's a Tesla backed in and it appears to have a dark color. See, the lights just went off. Oh boy. That actually is very probably him. Is that a ball band? It's, it's blue. It's blue. Yeah, <laughs> it's dark blue. Does it have New York plates? I'm thinking that it does. There, it doesn't have plates. That's a bald head. <laughs> it was a bald head. <laughs> Whose Jetta is in there? Do they have a support car? He's pulling out. Wait, he's pulling out. Where's he going now? This is New York. No, that doesn't look like New York. That looks like Ohio plates. Those were Ohio plates. Okay. It's not instant, right? The shit doesn't charge that quickly. No. False alarm. That is not a P90D, and the, that thing has Ohio plates on it. This Volkswagen, though, that can't charge there. They wait. Is that? That that. Wait a minute. Do I recognize that car? You know, is that the one from? LOL EPA. He he's here. He knows what's on. He knows what's going down. Well, yeah, with the CV and he knows what's going down. Going a long road trip. I always think I wish there was an Outback Steakhouse so I could say, "Gotta get me some of that." Instead, <laughs> right. You know what you gotta do it again. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. I fucked it up. Okay. One, two. Take one step back, so you're sure. in like. Wait, wait, how do you know we're from the Outback Steakhouse? You didn't see. You see back up. But there's the sign. Wait, what happened? The most expensive RC. <laughs> Anybody else? We good? Uh, okay. We need everyone who ate. What is she drawing? <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, that was a hell of an evening. It is now almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> we just had an hour and a half dinner with Alex Roy uh, and a couple other people that came. There goes Donadell in the uh, GLI? GLI. GLI, yes. Nice. Rosbon came up in the Jetta. Uh, that was a once in a lifetime, so that was freaking awesome. I got him to uh, sign the book which I got off the E39M5 owners group on Facebook, so we got a signature from oh, no, Mr. Roy himself in there. Uh, there. It says, <laughs> Schultz, obey the law. Best, Alex Roy 144. It's got the date. I had him sign my German M5 brochure. Your <laughs> perfect M5, Alex Roy Polizei 144. And it ripped in the wind just for him. <laughs> so that's, that's how that goes. That looks for right. Luke. Let an M5 rip since 2000. That's, that's right. And then for Luke, oh, where is the buddy thing? Uh, he signed, it's in here somewhere. Well, he signed uh, the M5 that's in, uh, there's, there it is. Okay. Jesus, Kevin. Uh, a lot of pages. He signed AR144 Avis Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Avis Baby, Avis. Avis Baby, Avis. Titanium. All right, well, now they're headed to Detroit in the P90D or whatever the hell that thing is, and uh, we're going to head back to Hudson. It is very ironically 1.44 in the morning. Um, Wait. How did that go down today, Roz? We, we just had dinner with Alex Roy. Oh, Come here. What? Nobody filmed this. Oh. I got my iPhone case signed by Alex Roy. <laughs> <laughs> he says, in case of traffic stop, uh, remove phone from case. Okay. This is from Alex Roy. 
the man, the myth, the legend, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> How much cleaner the inside is. You're fucked. <laughs> Speeding ticket. Hashtag gotta get me some of that. <laughs> and there's a signature Here's in the book <laughs> written by the one and only. So that was cool. Didn't, didn't expect that when we got out of bed this morning. No, I couldn't. Just a couple picks. There he is. Yep. There's the Tesla. He's in Detroit now. I assume he made it. I hope he made it safely. Uh, autonomous driving. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's killer. Rising the... Wait. Wait, balance. There we, the there we go. There we go. So fucking cool. And there he is signing Ken's book. Yep. That's sweet. Everybody has left and it's now quiet. Very quiet. 2.26 in the morning. Um, earlier today, I went into Lyric Motorsport to get an update on the M5. I will post the clip here. From the clip, you can see that um, it is ready for the subframe installation. The um, bearings are in, the hubs are in, the brakes are put back together, the calipers are hooked up. It's ready to throw that subframe in there, both the wheel carriers and the, um, the upper control arms to the carriers and all that together. And um, put the drive shaft in, the differential mounts are already in the subframe. The subframe's coming back Tuesday. It should be in either Tuesday or Wednesday. I guess I'll pop in tomorrow and see if it showed up yet. Uh, tomorrow afternoon and uh, then the engine build resumes hopefully Wednesday if they have all the parts and he gets the time to work on it it's done by the end of the week and next week is motor week according to Tom it'll take two days to pull the old one out it's coming out the bottom they're gonna undo that uh, front subframe old one comes out the bottom um, new one when it's done goes up in there and then it's done and then he needs a couple of days to break the engine in deal with any codes that come up whatever tune it up and uh, yeah, things are looking great. So it's great to see the new shiny parts go on. It just feels good to see brand new parts in there and the old stuff coming out covered in grease and rust and worn. It's, it's a good feeling. So um, fun day, needless to say. Uh, that kind of came out of nowhere. I just saw Alex's posts on Facebook going between um, Manhattan and Detroit, stopping at the charging facility 20 minutes from here. So why not go meet him? Well, he wanted to have dinner, so we had dinner and it was a blast. Um, so that's something I'll remember. I'll have to keep that. I guess I won't be putting it on Craigslist. <laughs> Not like I would have. But it's 2.30 in the morning. Um, I am gonna do tomorrow's, tomorrow morning's business finance class online. I also got an email from Professor Dubois, and Mr. Dubois said that he is, I don't know, sick or out of town or something, and he couldn't get a substitute. So tomorrow's afternoon class is canceled, which means I effectively get a Tuesday off. Hell yes. That's nice, especially since it's 2.30 in the morning. I have all of today's emails, vlog, YouTube, all of that to do. So good news on that front. It'll be a slow day tomorrow. Maybe do some classwork from home, head in the Laric, see if the um, subframe's done yet. I also watched the Cavaliers clinch the number one seed in the East today with their win at home over the Atlanta Hawks, so that was fun. But I'm going to bed, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow from Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't film a ton around Alex. It was just... Bunch of guys having dinner at uh, Texas Road or uh, uh, Outback Steakhouse talking about whatever. We talked about music. We talked a little bit about cars. Not crazy about cars, though. So it was fun. All right. Talk on Tuesday. Good night.